Hello, welcome back. Uh, we already told you that we're having a segment concerning the arts. And we have a creator here. Well, I actually thought he was a photographer, but I got to learn some interesting things about him. And I know that you want to know those things too. We've been talking about um, arts in Africa, promoting arts in Africa, promoting our culture in different ways, our neighborhoods, places, cities. And yes, people are coming up to say they have ideas in ways this can happen. So the person who we have, our guest today actually, he's a creator, he's a lawyer. Yeah, I know you're shocked. And he's into the arts and he's here to tell us all about his journey, his work, and all that he does. I'm talking about no other person than John Delano. Hello, John. Hi. Pleased uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How was your day? Yeah, busy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, good. And how was traffic? Well, I had to get out of my car to get here. <laughs> I had to walk and oh. get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, otherwise. Okay, so who's John Delano? Well, I am a um, lawyer by training. Um, however, I have a lot of, um, I guess, creative instinct, and I, um, uh, I've, I was trained here in Nigeria and also in the UK. So uh, over my life, I've been back and forth to places, and um, I think it's helped to uh, coming back to Nigeria has provoked certain things in me, haven't been away for a while, and coming back, and um, when I look, look around me, uh, I see uh, a lot of um, opportunity, a lot of things which we should be doing, which we are not doing. Um, and what are these things exactly? Well, um, there, there's, uh, I mean, uh, I think, just to make a broad statement, every Nigeria, this is a nation that needs to be built. We have a mindset that uh, someone else is going to do it. But over my first um, few months and first year or so, I came to a conclusion that everybody is supposed to do the job of building Nigeria. And um, we're also supposed to create the infrastructure that makes whatever industry we are work. Okay, so for example, I'll take law for example. Um, I um, do like 50% of law. The other part of it is business development, which is actually promoting the law firm that I work for. And um, we have uh, been creative about the way we do that. So uh, we've come up with a seminar series, which happens every year. So we bring um, people around a topic that is important to the nation. So for example, we've done, um, uh, our first seminar was on oil and gas, and then we moved on to infrastructure, and now we've looked at agriculture. Um, and in those, um, uh, as we're trying to do those things, we attract people who are contributing or need to know about it, but we also attract people who we can possibly do business with. Okay, so now, um, the topic for, for this discussion is actually, you know, the art of photography in Africa. Yes. You're into photography somehow. Yes, I am. Are you a photographer? I am not a photographer, so, but I know that it's a medium. Okay. It's a very powerful medium. Okay. Um, given the fact that I have to create images and I have to create impressions for the things I do for the business development side, I notice that we do not have anywhere to get ready images of Africa. If you put in um, images of Africa, you get tiger, lion, you get safari. Um, uh, and that's one of the reasons why when you look at a, uh, a poster or leaflet, you find you know, white people trying to, you're trying to promote 
your black business, your African business with white uh, images, you know. Um, so there's, there's a gap there. Um, and that's just, you know, in stock photography. Uh, the other thing that I think that art does is uh, it tells your story from your own perspective. Now, a lot of times, the story of Africa and Nigeria has been told by white people from their own perspective. So when they look at us, they always show um, images of poverty. Uh, they show images of people starving. They show images of ghettos, and so on and so forth. And, you know, that is why uh, a lot of people, I mean, I have a, 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 my daughter up until she was nine, I, while I was in the UK, um, thought, didn't want to come to Nigeria because she was afraid of malaria. And the images that she saw was, you know, um, you know, uh, starving children. Wow. Yeah? Wow. So it's important that we tell our own story. And art is, the way, is one of the ways that we do that. Uh, I noticed that there had been ex an explosion of art um, from the time I left to the, when I came back. Uh, there was such, um, there was so much creativity around. Okay. Okay, so let me ask this question. You commissioned some photos some time ago. Yes. What was that about? Um, well, um, one of the things, you know, I said there was an explosion in art. I want to be part, I wanted to be part of it. And I looked um, to see how I'm not an artist, um, but I know that there needs to be an infrastructure. So I thought I'd go into where the, you know, to create an infrastructure. So, um, but then I thought um, photography was uh, a niche that, I, you know, one could go into. I don't have to be behind the lenses, but I know what I want to see. Um, and it's also, um, uh, an area of opportunity for young people. Uh, they may or may not know that they're talented in that area. Um, and I took a chance on a couple of, of young people and they came up with some fantastic photographs. Um, and that's how we got there. Um, we, I chose a particular subject matter which was dear to my heart, which is looking after and you know, I, I, we, we have a, 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 what we call a soup kitchen, which is feeding the poor. And um, one of those days, I found myself in uh, an area of Lagos, which I thought, oh, my goodness, this place. What area was that? That's Obalinde. Obalinde, okay. Yes. And we wanted to put, I wanted to put a soup kitchen in Obalinde. Okay. But... My mind was also working racing because Obanda is full of creative people. Um, you know, you've got uh, tailors, um, uh, uh, various other you know artisans that do all the things that you mm -hmm. know we people wear around the whole place. And um, it, it was a dream between myself and a few people to put Obanda on the map, creative map, as it were. Uh, but do it from from right the bottom, okay. you know, and use photography to to help us to get there. Okay, I'm going to ask this question: How do we, you know, tell the Nigerian narrative through creative arts? How can we tell our story? How do we narrate, you know, um, our vision? Because there's always been that question of what is Nigeria up to, but how do we tell the Nigerian narrative? Well, well um, you know, all the artists are, are telling you something in their art. Um, and we can't all be artists, but we can look and we can appreciate. And someone needs to be writing down, um, which is, I guess, the link with my, you know, legal background and the fact that, you know, I, I, I like to journalize uh, what's going on. Um, and, uh, you know, this medium where you are talking to me about, um, you know, photography and so on and so forth, um, the media needs to pick up 
uh, and talk about, talk to artists about why they're doing what they're doing, you know, how their journey has been, and so on and so forth. In most countries, uh, developed countries in the world, artists are very important in shaping how the environment is organized. Um, you know, developed countries will have, you know, lots of museums where they record what's going on. Um, you, if you saw the way Lagos looked 10, 20, 30 years ago, which um, from photographs, you would be amazed. And someone needs to be writing down, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the line. Some of the scenes that we see today may not be around, you know, but there's, there, there, there's a story behind it. Mm. And it needs to be recorded and told. Mm. We haven't always lived like this. X, Y, Z happened and we moved from here to there to here to there. Okay. So uh, you have an event coming up, right? Yes, I do. And what is it about? Um, the, what is the, it about? When is it take, where is it taking place yeah. and when? Uh, the event, it's called A Photo Diary of an Urban Life. And it's a, an imaginary um, diary of someone who's come to Lagos from the rural areas and is writing a postcard. In fact, the actual initial um, uh, title was Postcards you know, of an Urban Life. Um, and what you imagine is, you know, this you know, young person has come to Lagos, is 22 or what have you, frustrated over there in whatever village he's coming from thinking, you know, Lagos, paved with gold, ends up in a place like Obayende and, you know, pushing a bike or pushing this or mm. pushing that, mm. you know, and, and working to survive. Um, and, you know, many migrants come to Lagos every day. I mean, these are the ones who still believe in Nigeria. The ones who, who don't believe in Nigeria end up on the sea going out, you know. Um, so... This is like a testament to Nigerians who believe in Nigeria. Um, and these are people that I think need to be helped, supported in whatever way possible. Uh, so this event is showing, uh, depicting people going through their daily life who are stuck in that place. And it's taken from a very candid uh, position. There's no one knowing no one knows that you know they're being taken um so you get some very candid shots uh it's happening tomorrow um it's uh, at a place called white space which is raymond njoku southwest uh Ikoe. and uh, we've given the whole day um to that um okay. so from two o'clock all the way to so the venue is where is raymond njoku a place called white space okay 58, Raymond Njoku. Raymond Njoku. Yes. So, and uh, you have it. He has said everything. The event will be happening at 58, number 58, Raymond Njoku Street. Every young person, especially you who is a creative, you who is an artist, who is interested in telling the stories of other Nigerians, young, old, like yourself, especially out there migrants, I want you to come over there, be a part of this event, and help in sharing their story inspiring them, and getting encouragement too for your art. Thank you so much for coming, John. How can people follow you? Um, well, there's an Instagram page. There's also a website. Okay, the website. Um, the website is urbanphotolagos.com. Okay. The Instagram page is urbanbrandphoto. Okay, so you have it. At urbanbrandphoto for Instagram. Thank you so much for coming. We're so glad that we had you today. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.